Everybody put your hands up! For all of you guys that have been watching my channel for the last over a year and a half, you're probably liking my content, but you're wondering, what the heck is going on? Of course it's easy to comprehend that this channel is about an odd kid when I'm directly speaking to you guys, but when we get into more of the indirect side of this channel where I'm telling stories through skits and little things with my action figures and stuff, you guys might just be confused. It actually starts way back in the first Spider-Man Captain America stop motion where you see my character's first encounter with experiencing this kind of communication with an inanimate object. You will get away with this. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone you love. Where we move from reality back to the fiction world where you see me recording this set and me freaking out because what's happening on set is actually happening in real life. So it starts off all as according to plan until Superman directly talks to me and my character of course kind of freaks out and we all know that action figures talking is not normal unless it's Toy Story. So let's put that aside for a second and move to our first actual series where I start off directly talking to you guys as an audience, but then I move in to more of an indirect speech because I completely lose it. And that, of course, is the spider series. As a young kid speaking to you guys about my experience with spiders and how I think that these spiders are out to attack the world and of course you guys are thinking that this is a joke because this is all entertainment but to me as a character I'm thinking this is real life. I have to do something because spiders are about to take over the world. They're smart. They know what they're doing. I bet you they're like upstairs in the attic like plotting their next attack on me. I bet you there's like a whole society up there with like captains and generals and soldiers and they're just like waiting for that perfect moment. First, they're just gonna drop off the ceiling and just like eat me alive. After that, they're gonna take over the house. After that, they're taking over the world. Now let's fast forward a few more videos and we move on to our true story series which I will not talk to you guys about right now and a lot of you guys have been asking but that's for another time. But let's go back further up and we get to the spiders are back video. So in the spiders are back, you see again me talking to you guys directly about spiders coming back because of the heat and everything. But again, this is serious to me. And in the end, you see that when I open the door, there's this freakish like alien snarling wings flapping weird stuff going on. This isn't a democracy anymore. Wait. You guys hear that? Guys, guys, we gotta go. We gotta go. Hey, leave everything behind. Remember what I said? Just remember what I and to me, this stuff is actually happening, so I warn you guys to run away. But of course, you guys, <laughs> this is only entertainment, right? Then we push on a little more forward to where my character doesn't speak to you guys anymore. This is the video, If the Walking Dead was a kid's show. This was actually part three to the Spider series. This is what happened after the spiders attacked. The first time. Do something. I am doing something. Keeping this group together, alive. And I've been doing that all along, no matter what. I didn't ask for this. I killed my best friend for you people, for Christ's sake. So you get the idea in this, because my character is once again talking to stuffed animals, all in a line and just 
communicating with them as if they were regular people and they're talking to each other and I'm hearing all this going on and I have to teach them a lesson. Me as the leader, I have to keep them calm and keep them together. Which is the same exact scene from the season 2 finale of The Walking Dead. That was to show you guys that this was an apocalyptic world. Society has collapsed and during that gap from my last Spiders video, I created this group. We've been through things. We're all just working together to survive. You get to see how my character grows and becomes more aggressive in this world. Put the gun down. Let's go. I can't go back! Put the gun down! But this world is completely different from the real world. Because between each gap, those aren't day gaps. Those are month gaps. Those are the actual gaps that I'm taking in real life. Meaning when I don't post another Spiders video for eight months. Eight months has passed in the Spiders series. But we go back to Spider-Man can't tray flip and there's a whole nother, you know, like, <laughs> thing going on, right? Dude, you can't ignore me, dude. Dude, 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 dude. dude. What? That's just rude. There's no apocalypse and there's no spider issue. It's just me. That's because in these videos, this is actually from the past. These are working at a slower pace. The videos that I'm making right now, these videos where I'm actually talking to you guys directly, are the only videos from the actual present present. So Spider-Man Can't Trade Flip takes place far before the After Spider's Attack video. And here you see my character is just starting to become more comfortable with talking to his inanimate objects and them talking back. So you ready to try it on your uh, tech deck? Don't make fun of my board, dude. I can't do that. Why not? Larry? <laughs> I'm just a toy. But this is reality. None of these action figures are talking. None of these stuffed animals are communicating in any type of way. And this is all taking place in his head. My character believes he's trapped inside of an insane asylum that's actually just his room. But due to the white walls, he believes he's stuck in here. He forgets that he's able to leave and come back whenever he wants. He lives a normal life outside, but once he opens those doors and comes in the room, everything comes rushing back. And things happen, such as Duckling. We all know that my character, Larry, made that video himself, but he just forgot he did it. He doesn't understand he's crazy. He's talking to himself. These voices aren't real. That is not a real gun. That's a Nerf gun. But it still plays a role as a real gun in his head. And the madness continues. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to tell you how things were actually supposed to be working on this channel. But anyway, with all that said and done, you guys should really follow me on Instagram because I have been posting more frequently on a lot of stuff that I do outside of YouTube and behind the scenes projects that you guys can't see on this channel. A lot of photography stuff too, but anyway, Follow me on Instagram and also go next to the subscribe button and click my notifications because you guys know I'm not posting on Tuesdays and I'm hardly posting on Sundays and I'm just posting on random days now so that won't change until I make a new intro which will just say like something like new videos weekly instead of an actual day because I just can't keep up with the days can I? But yeah hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys Sometime next week, you know what I mean? Um, bye.